Alright guys, we're gonna go down to the greenhouse. I haven't been down there in about two days. So, yeah, we've been pressure washing everything. This is a sable palmetto. I'm gonna water it today. But just I'm gonna get up some sink water, pour a cup up with it, and just pour it in maybe. It's it all good. Anyways, I'm walking down here right now. Cause I'm gonna try and, I like to keep the camera a little more steady instead. We will get we will get it four wheelers today every day. And we're gonna get some four wheelers. I'm getting a Yamaha six thousand dollars for Christmas. It's expensive, but it's amazing four wheeler. Um, stable minor looks okay. Think my way is a um canna, canna, whatever you like to call it. This thing's looking good. It's, I mean, it's not looking terrible. It's just a majesty, and these serve these, these all year round at my Home Depot at least because. They're always selling them, and they're getting nibbled on by the deer. But the sun hopefully makes it for the winter. Hopefully, I wish it would just look, I mean, it's not, it's, they're a pretty hard palm to grow. And mine's looking pretty bad. <laughs> but it's getting some water, so I don't know. It's just not hardy here. I gotta fix the greenhouse thing right there. It's so neat down here. Everything's, that's the dead table where everything looks just bad. But anyways, uh, that angel's trumpet's needing some water. I'm gonna have to water it. Um, but here's the banana. It's looking terrible because it wasn't that bad in the storm. Um, it's recovering. It will grow in the greenhouse this year. Maybe just in the one little center spear or whatnot. It's still, I think, got another spear got to come out. But yeah, that thing looks insane weird. Um, Pendo is looking good. I'll water it. Norfolk Pine's not looking so good, but it will eventually, probably. Probably. But yeah. Pendo's actually just taking shape now. It's actually going to turn into a Pendo palm instead of a leaflet palm like that. A cocoa choir blocks are right there, and there's a juniper pine, but those are cocoa choir blocks. They come in blocks where I get them. But this is my uh, Pendo. I mean, not my Bismarck. I'm coming up with all kinds of crazy names, but Bismarck, yeah, no bliss. Pulling these clover out, but I mean, this thing is really starting to take off. And I've noticed when you these are in the cold. They start to lose their color, so. But it's still, it's still a Bismarck. So. Uh, right here, the angel trumpet's really weeping. I'm gonna pot it up in the ground. Maybe it'll, I don't know. They come back every year, though. So, I don't know. Hopefully it'll live. Um, but. These are just some of the. Homes I have, these are windmill. I got so many windmills right here. But, and there's a salt palmetto. And this is a bay leaf I got. It's, it's getting pretty tall. I might have to trim it back. I just hit a spider web. I hate those spider webs. At least I cleared it out. You can't hit your head on it. Well, I'm moving the spider web out the way, guys. This should be good. I'm gonna walk into the greenhouse now. I like to do the walk in slowly because you never know when a bee might. What about you? There's no 
zombies or anything. Oh, I see a bunch of holes that need to be filled in right there. But yeah, everything's in the greenhouse, so. Yeah, nothing's, no bees in here. And I know I don't have to turn a little thing on right now. But it looks amazing in here. So palmettos are looking. That one's got to probably dead, but these are the ones that look good, and they will live. I know they will. I got all these, and I only bought 20 seeds, so I didn't buy that many seeds. 20 seeds is not enough seeds. And I don't know if they were really good quality or not, because they're off eBay, but these, look, these ones look amazing. They're super stiff. Oops, something just about bit me. Dang, you I don't know what that was. But yeah, these are putting on their second spear. This one's growing weird. But they're all in a, they're looking all good. This is a, um, something I need to water. Flifera. It's looking good. Yeah, this one's good. But yeah. So I'll put my nose on my, on my bucket of water. I'm just gonna dip something in and dip it out. So, yeah. Um, the Washingtonio Robusta. Oh my gosh, that is super big. It looks like this is good and watered, but I'll water it again. Spider plants. This is a windmill seeds. I don't know if they will germinate or not, but you gotta be patient with them. But if they don't germinate, I will wait until they're purple when they're ripe, because they look purple-ish when they're ripe. But yeah, anyways, here's all the palms we've gotten. Here's a windmill. Um, another windmill down there. The bananas and then yeah, so everything's looking good. A bug in here. That's just a bug. These things are so aggravating. But anyways, this is a oh dang I forgot what's it called um well, I'm forgetting everything right now, but it's a, it's called a, uh, Sable Miner, yeah. I forgot, this one's looking, this one's got its, I don't know what that was, but everything's looking good. That's a salt, silver salt palmetto right here. Silver salt palmetto, that's a good, look okay, it looks okay, I guess, but that's a silver salt palmetto, and that's, Potted it up like that for experimental. There's a windmill right there. This is a sil uh, sable miner I germinated from seed and it's already got its third strap on. Well, that one has, this one has its third strap coming on. This one has its third strap just coming out. That one has two. Yeah, at least some of these look stressed out when they got. Oh, that was the time of the year when they weren't getting watered, but I didn't get to water them. But yeah, so that's a little sable miner update.